Welcome to Fujitsu Activity Now Singapore. I, I understand you have a good lunch, and I'm also glad to see many friends, Albert. <laughs> so also uh, new, new friends I, I'm trying to make here uh, and share. And also thank you for taking your time. I know recent events is all about AI. 10 out of 10 partners will tell you about AI and sustainability. And today, Fujitsu is trying to share with you what is our view. Of course, we invited uh, IDC, Stephanie, to help us to share the insight of Singapore. And also, we have a panel discussion uh, uh, managed by Rahila. And also, we, inspire, uh, we invite Justin from Panasonic, and also uh, Stephanie, and also our corporate EVP for M&A strategy to, to have a discussion with you. How do this collectively come together and how do we drive sustainability uh, across and how can we support you? I'm not sure, are you aware or maybe this is still not the IT scope yet? Your corporate has been discussing how to manage the Singapore Green Plan 2030 that will have impact to all of us, the Carbon Pricing Act, the ESG reporting. Can I show a hand how many of you are involved now? None. <laughs> you know, interestingly, I've discussed with many customers. This is still at the corporate level discussion. Some company has started a sustainability officer. Some companies say this is under, for example, beyond your case, it's under a deputy CEO. But you know one thing we learn from our IT world? You will flow down to us. Do you agree? If you agree, please give me a round of applause to make sure you will acknowledge this. So, let me ask you a simple question. We know that AI has been exist for the last five, ten years. Without chat GPT, your corporate never pay attention. Is it true? Is it true? Now your corporate is asking you, hey, can you tell me your AI plan? I assure you, this topic will come to you next year because our government act is coming. And we need to start thinking, especially now you are doing a lot of tech refresh, you are doing a lot of selecting of partner solutions. Today, our partner here are all related to this topic. When you consider new products, it's no longer IT feature we are talking about. It's whether you purchase this product, <laughs> knowing that when your boss asks this question, I say, I'm ready. So I think we have common consensus that this is coming. And it will come fast and furious. We conducted a survey uh, with all the C-suite uh, in partnership with Longitude by Financial Times. We realized what you just mentioned to me. Everybody is talking about it. Action is still a corporate level discussion. You, you just share this. It's not, you are not activated yet. But I think in some context, ESG in your company already started. Scope one, scope two is the most easiest to tackle. Scope three is always a challenge. I have discussed with various business partner or customer to talk about this topic. And actually, everybody tell me it's very slow, Alfie. Uh, I'm trying very hard to get my corporate attention. Uh, IT budget is infinite. Please let me know you have a finite IT budget. I'm more than happy to support you 200, 300%. <laughs> but we all have a finite IT budget. We know this is coming. We know the corporate is already this whispering. Stephanie will tell you more insight about this, why the agency is coming. Slow progress is not important because anything that they do you will never run away from data and AI. Do you agree? Business workflow. Do you agree? These are all the components of IT. 
And these are the components that I think we will spend the rest of the day to discuss. Uh, later, our team will share with you in our experience track how do we drive the outcome, how we look at your challenges and how we assemble different solutions to support you in the experience track. So today, you are not looking at product presentation. We are looking at what is we work with other customers to define the problems and how can we support you and whether you, do you think that this is your challenges. If not, we are welcome for you to tell us your business challenges so that we can help you to assemble a solutions. Fujitsu, I'm not sure all of you heard about Fujitsu has transformed. I know in Singapore, we are still very good to support you a lot of products, networks, security, uh, and this is our journey that we are, as a corporate, Fujitsu is moving towards to. We established Fujitsu U once, mainly focusing on one thing, how to drive social issues that span across different industry. We realize one thing. Today, finance is no longer talking about finance, only to consumer. Our customer is expecting us everything as a service. In your corporate world, I believe you are doing for, from Panasonic, whenever you do, your customer will ask you, your, your business will ask you, I want to term everything as a service. From other business, I believe you are also trying to do everything as a service. What does it mean, everything as a service? That means, from manufacturing point of view, our customer who is selling car, they want to provide a leasing or utility-based approach selling. Maybe in future, we don't, don't need to have COE in Singapore. I hope so. It's getting more expensive. We have a lot of, a lot of rental services is coming out, and you know the car market is impacted by this. So they are working with financial sector. They are working with retail sector. And they provide end-to-end -end services. And it's not a car dealer workshop who sell. It may be a retail car, uh, business who sell, lease out the car. And this ecosystem is already formed out in the car industry that you see is coming. Insurance is one of them. It's already formed out. Insurance partner with the car company to form out a total ecosystem. So these are all coming. That's why Fujitsu is now moving towards what is the customer social issues that we're trying to solve. And how do we support you to drive the discussion? So IT world will change. We know that we no longer only provide a stable IT operation environment, a good security. We also know we need to work with these different partners to drive the standard, what is across, and how can we come together to drive the services for you. So we have many case study that we're working with customer to, to help this. Lastly, our experience track. Later, please uh, feel free to join us. We are focusing on three things. How to empower people through efficiency. Post-COVID, we learn one thing. We are all hybrid working. That's one part. But our backend processes is still manual driven. And I know mo mo many of you already over the last few years moved towards a lot of automation, backend automation, workflow automation. If you are not, today our partners, Boots, can help you to see how you can do this more efficiently. We also know, learn one thing, the new generations retention of new employees, new generation of employees. It's getting harder for us if we do not digitalize our environment. And this is where I believe also a big challenge for us as a corporate. How can we do a better retention? The third point, talent, skills shortage, the government control of the work pass how can we be more efficient with using the limited resources we have to be more effective? Streamline business process for profitability. I believe all of you have been doing it. Today, we will be debating about whether 
certain solution can help you be streamline the finance process, certain solution can help you to do the ITSM process. But I always ask the customer to consider when you choose all these solutions, whether are you trying to also know that this solution has potential to link to sustainability when you roll out your ESG, when you roll out your carbon act measurement, can this help you? I think this is one of the key important that later our experience track can help you. And Fujitsu, we also have own technologies to support this as well together with our partner. The last part, sometimes I think it's very tricky to say how can we protect the world, to protect the planet, how can technology protect the planet? Later in our experience book, I think we'll talk about digital twin, ocean. How we visualize the uh, carbon emissions from the ocean and how, how we contribute to the measurement. And of course, I want to thank all the sponsors to, to, to make this event happen and you to make this event happen. My last comments. If you think this is not happening to us, please, I assure you, we will be the chain maker, whether AI, whether the corporate wants us to do sustainability or others. Technology or IT is always a foundation for this. So I'll probably pass back to Paige for you to start the next event. Thank you very much.